Hi there. Click that like and click that subscribe. It gives me the warm fuzzies inside and then I want to keep making these videos. Thank you. We've talked about fractions in terms of just cutting things up into, into different numbers of pieces. But what if I told you there's another way to think about fractions? You can think about fractions as a trip on a, or on a line as if we were making a trip. So for example, let's say you are traveling from home to school. Got me? And as you're going along, you begin to wonder, how far away am I from school? How long has this trip been going on? Right? So it makes you want to measure the trip. So how can we measure that trip? How can somebody tell you how far you are? Well, you could always ask, say, hey, mom. Yes. How far along the trip are we today? Well, your mom is going to think, well, we're going to travel almost the same amount of time to get there as it would to get back. Let me show you what that means. These are my half strips. And you probably you may have heard this before, but this car is about halfway there because I can cut this in the middle and I have two equal sized pieces. Let me show you. So if I take this line and I cut it in half, I will have about two equal sized pieces that go from home to school. So when your mom says, oh, we're about halfway there, right? What she's saying is that the trip is the same from here to here as it is from here to here. It's the same distance. We're halfway there. That is a very important thing to understand when we look at fractions, because it relates to time and distance. So let's have a look here. Let's take a couple of examples. If you have your line, make my line here, I could make a great line. I draw my line here. Maybe it's not going to be a perfect line, but it's going to be my line. I'm going to be proud of my line. There you go. Boom, boom. So that is my whole line. And some, and I say, where is one third of that line? I can take my thirds pieces and I can break that, start breaking that line up. Okay, so I'm gonna put my mark here and my mark here to show me where the thirds are. And so now I start counting. This is zero thirds because I haven't used any thirds. Then I use my first third here. So this is one third. I use my second third here. So that I know that this is two thirds. And I use my last third here. So I know that this is three thirds. So one third is right here. If this was a trip and you were traveling and you said, how far am I? You would say, oh, I'm about one third of the way there. Okay. Let's look at a different one. This time we draw our, we draw our trip or our number line. Okay, that's all this is. It's just a line. And it's a number line because we're going to put numbers on it. And now let's do this. Sometimes on a trip, you're almost there, but you say you don't know how to measure or how to tell someone you're almost there. I mean, what does almost mean? How far is almost? Does almost mean like right before it? Or does almost mean like over here? You know, you're getting close, but you're not there yet. 
So let's look at one way of thinking about almost. Let's put our marks here because these are our quarters or our fourths. I need to remember fourths, not quarters, fourths. And I can slide these out of the way. So this is, once again, zero fourths. This is my one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So what is this one here? Three fourths. So if you're traveling along, you're, you know you're more than halfway, but you're not there yet. It's, you could say, oh, it's about three fourths of the way there. And that'll tell the other person, oh, he's getting here, but he's not quite here yet. That's all that means. So that's a pretty good way of measuring it. Let's look at this in the workbook. Use the fraction strips to help name the points on the number line. Draw a point to show one third. So they're going to give us a number line and they're going to ask us to draw a point showing one third. Got it. Step one, the denominator is three. So use the fraction strips for thirds. Place the fraction strips above the number line. Use the fraction strips to divide the number line into three equal lengths. So here they've introduced this word, denominator. Now we haven't talked about denominator yet, and this is a new word. The word denominator is exactly, and I'm gonna show you exactly what the denominator is so that you don't miss it. It's super important for you to know this word. The word denominator is exactly this number here. Oh, come on, tell me you're gonna write. Is exactly this number here. That is the denominator. The bottom number is the denominator. Now, say it with me. Denominator. <laughs> it's a hard one, I know. Denominator. Denominator. One more time. Denominator. Denominator. All right, let's keep reading. This is a tough one. The denominator is three. So use the fraction strip for thirds. Place the fraction strips above the number line. Use the fraction strips to divide the number line into three equal lengths. So that's what they did here. Here's one fraction strip, two fra fraction strip number two, and fraction strip number three. Remember, those are these here that we used. The third one, see that? The ones at thirds. Okay, step two, label each mark on the number line. So we're going to label each mark. I'm going to do that in a sec in a different color so that it stands out. So now we have to label it. So just like we did, zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds, or zero of three equal lengths, one of three equal lengths, two of three equal lengths, and three of three, uh, I figured you knew it, equal lengths, right? Okay. And so they've marked this spot right here. And I'm, I am going to get that pencil out. And so they marked this spot right here as being one third. Why? Because this has a one right there. All right. So we're going to, so we're going to do this one. Number one, complete the number line. So they want me to finish this number line. Draw a point to show two fourths. Okay, so this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Now they want us to complete it, which means that we have to put in everything that's missing. 
So this is 0 over 4. This is 1, because it's the first one, over 4. This is the second one, 2 over 4. And this is the third one, 3 over 4. And they want us to show 2 out of 4. So where is 2 out of 4? It is right here. I'm going to make my dot nice and big so that everybody can see it. Oh, that might not be big enough, but whatever. I'll make a big blob right there. So there you go. 2 fourths is right there. Not bad. Now you get to do the same thing here. They want you to tell us, write the fraction that names the point. Point A, so the point called A would be this one. And point B would be this one. Can you figure out which ones they are? See you guys later. Good luck.